Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple James. You've probably seen this video. This is a video that we posted many years ago that shows how the French drain actually works. It has over 3 million views and it really shows the workings of gravel, perforated pipe, and what happens during a rainfall. Understanding French drain and how it works in and around your home is very important, especially when we talk about negative grade. There's many different types of negative grade. You can see here, this has a slope of a hill coming down and it's basically flooding across the yard and into the crawl space. Here's a negative grade of a driveway and the water poured across and just flooded the neighbor's yard. Here's a negative grade that comes down a very steep hill and floods into the family room. How far away from the foundation wall should you install a French drain? Let's take a look at this small animation. I apologize, it's just a very easy animation to follow. But if you install a French drain right along the foundation wall, you're just begging for problems. This is called a stress crack and it's caused from movement of the footer. And when that footer moves, all of the block and brick will crack. So if you look at the side of the house and you install a French drain at a very shallow level, yes, water will be collected in your French drain and some of it's carried away. But because it's gravel perforated pipe, a lot of water leaks down that wall and ends up at the basement footer level. And that causes problems. So the question is, how far away from the foundation wall should you place your French drain? I believe it should be about two to three feet minimum. If you're up on that foundation wall with a very shallow drain, you are begging for problems. I have seen far too many videos, and probably you have too, of homeowners and other contractors placing this French drain right alongside of the foundation wall, and it's only about a foot deep. And it doesn't matter if you have great fall, whether you run corrugated, whether you run PVC, that water will leak down along the foundation wall and cause this problem. So the French drain, the shallow French drain, to help correct negative grade, should be about two to three feet minimum from your foundation wall for it to work properly. All of these problems and more were solved with the French drain. Let's take a look at three different types of material so you can understand how each material works and which one may work best for your project. So back in the old day, they used to use concrete or ceramic tiles. And these are one foot long. You can see these are old ones I pulled out of an old uh, footer tile around the basement. Let me bring you a close up. You can see they're just concrete pipes. And what they did was they just butted together down in the trench. As water floods up, through the trench, enters that seam, and then of course, comes out the pipe and is carried away. Interesting note about field tiles is these are very close to today's slotted pipe. You can see that the seam goes all the way around, and in the newer slotted pipe, the holes go all the way around the pipe. This allows that water to not only flood from the bottom, but a little bit from the top. It's really kind of a misconception that water drops in from the top, and you'll see that more in this video as you watch. Great system, years ago, still works today in many homes around the country, down in the basement, the footer tiles, or in an old farm field like this. These things work great to take away water. Let's lay one out, take a look. Down in the trench, this is what it looks like. They simply laid these flat, the next one set right beside it they just butt together and they ran these all the way through their system and they work just like today's gravel 
perforated pipe. So basically you could put soil over it. Of course they learned to put some type of aggregate you know, underneath and on the top to help that water flood up and into the pipe. And it really works great. Let's go ahead and pour some gravel over this so you can see how well it actually works. I'm gonna lay one more tile back here. Then just gravel by the bag. And I'm just going to add the water you know, right here so that you can see what happens. A lot of the water is going to come through the gravel, but so here's our simulated rainfall. And I'm just going to stick it down in the gravel so I can come over on the camera and zoom in on that for you. Oh yeah, you can see that water come right through that pipe. Let's zoom in on it. Can you see that? It's coming right through that pipe. Let's take the GoPro over there and take a look from the inside. You can see it just comes through those seams in the pipe. Water floods up and comes right into the trench. Works really well. So today, let's simulate it with today's material. This is thin wall PVC. You can see the holes on the bottom. We're gonna put, put those holes pointing down because water does not come this way. It actually comes from the bottom. We're gonna cover this up with gravel and we'll simulate you know, how this would work. This works really well, both for a French drain in your yard and also along the basement perimeter, the inside or outside footer tiles. Uh, but it actually, is, we found that it works absolutely the best in a crawl space because gravel comes to grade as water comes through that foundation wall, it just comes right into the system, floods up into the pipe, pipe carries the... So here's our simulated rainfall. Pretty good rain. You can see that water come out of there in just a few seconds. It should flow through the gravel first, but we should also see it come up into the pipe. Let's go ahead and stick it in here. Just let it flow. So if you look again at our simulation here, let's zoom back out. And you can see we've got a garden hose running into the trench. That water fills up the trench. Then it comes up through the gravel into the holes, which point down, allows that water into the trench, and the water is carried away. What a great system. So with our GoPro running, we look inside the pipe, and you can see it coming in those holes. As that water floods up from the bottom of the trench, it enters those holes and is carried away. That's why the holes point down. If the holes were pointing up, the trench would have to fill with much more water in order for it to get into the pipe. And you can see that water floods, comes up through the bottom of the holes, through the bottom of the pipe, into the holes, and is carried away. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we're going to do a test with this product here called Quick and Easy Draining Solutions Easy Drain. And this is a product from NDS. And you can see that it's styrofoam surrounding a perforated pipe that has a fabric sock on top of it. And the manufacturer says this has a 30% better flow rate than gravel. So we're gonna give this a try see how well it works. Let's, I've already dug the trench, you saw that. We're gonna go ahead and lay this in the pipe, or lay this in the trench. Step it down in. Next, we're gonna cover it with gravel, or excuse me, with dirt. And we're going to stick a garden hose on it and see what kind of flow rate we really get. So we're going to cover this up. 
just like it would be in your yard. Okay, we need to make a quick note. Because we've covered the French drain with soil, even in a huge downpour, there is no way that that water is going to drop through the top of that pipe. It must drop to the bottom and flood up before it begins to work. This is important when you're thinking about negative grade and trying to protect your foundation. Next, we're going to simulate the rainfall with our garden hose. We're just going to start adding water to it. Basically, I'm just going to let it run. Stick it right down in here. So if you look carefully, you can see that water flowing right through that pipe. It's filling up the trench, flooding up into the bottom of the pipe, and it's being carried away by the pipe. Let's see if we can zoom in on that a little bit. There we go. So yeah, that the, the peanuts, the styrofoam, they work pretty good. We'll let that run for just a minute so you can see the actual discharge. I'll put the GoPro in there and take a look too. When you're dealing with negative grade, trying to capture the water and protect your foundation, it is probably better to bring your gravel to grade because the water can then drop much quicker down into your system. It still has to hit the bottom of the trench and flood upward as you can see, but it will work better. And don't forget the catch basins. The flow. It flows through the gravel first because there are voids in the gravel. But as we add more water directly, it will start to flow through the pipe. And that's why holes point down. You can see the water coming through the holes. Floods up from the bottom of the trench into the pipe and is carried away. Mm -hmm.